Good day, Grade 12 learners, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be looking at what you should be knowing as you prepare for the June theory paper. So I'm going to go through two papers, two completely different papers, but that should show you more or less what you should be able to expect. Now, first things first, we're just going to look through the structure, and you might get things like match the column. Um, true and false, for the most part, is gone. So we have our shorter questions here. This is what usually comes up where you need to look at the statement and then choose the correct term to go with that particular statement. From there, um, you'll see on this particular one, you had to expand abbreviations. So knowing the abbreviations is important. One that always comes up is dealing with hardware. So you'll get a picture of the hardware and then they'll ask you to name the hardware and its main function. So you need to know that. Don't think of traditional things. Think of things outside of the box, stuff that hasn't been used before, and the ones that like to come up with things like the motherboard and the power supply, etc. Then we have our um, system technologies, and this is where they start to ask you questions on the actual hardware itself. So they might have a scenario, and they ask you to identify the particular type of computer, the particular storage, um, what pixels are. Uh, here they're asking you, typical one that comes up, difference between your SSD and HDD. And please, when you answer those, you cannot just say it is faster. If you do say it's faster, you must say why it is faster. So it is fa it's faster than the traditional hard drive because it has no moving parts. So just watch your answers on that. Um, yeah, they're asking about micro SD cards and SD card readers, your CPUs again. So understand what is meant by a core, how to identify the manufacturer, the speed of that particular CPU as well. Then you get questions on your ports and the type C port is obviously going to be uh, the most popular port at the moment for charging and using. And then most of our ports on our um, devices are also just the USB port, so understand that. Difference between your VGA and your HDMI as well. We've got internet and network technologies. And again, most of these are going to have their own scenarios to go with that. So here we have provide the expanded version of FTTH, and that's fiber to the home. You must be able to expand that and give an explanation. Please read the question. Because expand and explain are two different things. Okay? So expand, I'm just going to be saying what these letters stand for. And then for another mark, I'll have to explain what that means. Also, watch the mark allocation. If they're asking you for two marks, you're not writing an entire paragraph. It's only two marks. So keep it brief. Um, yeah, they ask us again, you know, connections to the internet. The difference between broadband and bandwidth. Now, when, when it comes to your internet, you're going to get questions on things like this, throttling, shaping, um, speeds of your internet, you know, things like that. Those are all the kinds of terminologies that you will find coming up. Also, on the type of network cables, specifically your, your UTP, STP, and your fiber optic, you know, how does it transmit data, and things like that. Then the difference between a search engine and a browser uh, comes up often. Um, yeah, they asked about cookies as well, cloud computing um, or cloud storage. So that's something that comes up. URL shorteners, deep web and the dark web. So know the difference between those two. Um, you know, when it, when it comes to these, again, check the mark allocation, see how much they are actually asking of you uh, so that you are able then to give that explanation. Then we've got the surface web as well. So you can see all these questions relating to the internet and that totaled about 20 marks. Then that information management. Now, yeah, in this particular one, they spoke a little bit about AI, um, chatbots. This is one that comes up very often now, the IPO model. Now, remember your information processing cycle, um, your input, your processing and output. So they want you to take those steps of the information processing cycle and actually apply it to um, a particular scenario or a particular 
um, I, if I can use the example of you getting a number from someone and saving that into your phone, what do you do? Input is where you are typing in that number. Processing is where the phone is checking to see has it been saved before, is it on the phone, and then output is once you've saved it, showing you the results of that. Okay, then social implications. Yeah, again, they're giving you a different scenario. So pick up on that, please. You're going to be given a different scenario, usually per question. So you need to answer the questions based on that particular scenario. Um, okay, so they're just going to questions about AI, advantages, disadvantages. Um, look at the definition of cryptocurrency, blockchain, ransomware. How can you prevent ransomware? So again, looking at our antivirus, looking at you know keeping things more secure. Hackers and crackers came up in this one. And I just want to say this. It's not just about knowing these terms that, okay, this is what a, crack, uh, sorry, a hacker is and this is what a cracker is. But it's been able to actually apply that definition to a scenario. So not just telling me what it is, but if you know what it is, then how can we help someone um, to stay safe? Or in this case, uh, providing two possible signs that could indicate that your phone has been hacked. All right, then solution development is one where they are taking a lot of questions from the prac work. So here you can see table of contents, um, questions on Excel, sh uh, keyboard shortcuts. And then probably the largest section, usually a question 9 and question 10, um, is your integrated scenario. Now they call it this because they can ask you any question from anything that you have done so far. So here you can see we've got a scenario based on AI. So they're going to ask you questions on AI. And here they're asking difference between an AI and a search engine like Google. Talking about online forms, open and closed questions. Um, yeah, they're talking about advantages of data collection through surveys. So there's not sort of much I can show you here um, other than the questions. But in question 9 and question 10 or that whole integrated scenario section, please pay attention to what they're asking of you because they can ask anything related to all the work you've covered so far. I mean, yeah, they've thrown in backups. Um, yeah, we're talking about cloud storage protecting data physically, protecting data with software, add-ons, okay, and then we go to the next one. Now, you can see all of those related to question 9, question 10, if you get into question 10, will be a different scenario, but again, they can ask any question based on all the work that you've done, okay. So that was June 2024. Let's, let's look a little further back. Here's another one. Um, this one started with multiple choice, and again, in your multiple choice section, also, anything can be asked, all right, based on everything you have done so far. Um, let's, let's, let's go on, and we've got our typical match the column. Now, the other paper started with the match the column, so please know your terms, right, and for that, please remember, you can go to the gizmo.ai platform to go and check out my flashcards um, based on the grade 12 work. I've got all of those things ready to go there for you. So this was still one that had the true and false, but we've done away with that now. System technologies, yeah, they're asking us again about hardware, disadvantages of a tablet, um, troubleshooting when it comes to a keyboard. So please also remember, in your grade 12 work, there's going to be a lot of questions regarding troubleshooting now as well. That is part of um, what has been done. Hardware components, um, downloading apps, minimum and recommended system requirements. That's also something that comes up. Again, there's add-ons, application software, voice recognition software. Your networks, your different type of networks, like your LAN, your MAN, your HAN, your WAN, okay? All of those. Know the difference between the two. Then your, your, your printers, your quality settings, right? This DPI, dots per inch. The higher that number, the better the image quality is going to be. 
Here we go. Question five. Networks again. Can you see? Talking about your ISP. Um, looking at a particular scenario. What is uncapped? What is unthrottled? Um, what's the difference between your fiber and your cellular? Uh, upload speeds, download speeds. What does that mean? Most of you know these things anyway. All right. Um, throttling comes up again. Fiber versus an ADSL connection, which was um, a slower uh, permanent connection using like the old network cables. And that was a synchronous digital describer line, if I remember correctly. Right. They'll probably throw in something to do with our uh, uh, different apps that we use also for communicating online. What is synchronizing, storing files online. So you can see those are the typical ones that come up. Then info management, again, can you see? Surveys, questionnaires, um, a few things here in Excel. And then our social implications. So this is now where they take what we've learned and apply it to a scenario in society. Okay, to see how does ICT actually impact uh, the world around us. And again, you can get a number of questions in that. Yeah, you can see talking about ergonomically designed equipment, key loggers, uh, victims of malware, output devices, software that a blind person can use, right? And there they give us our scenario. So please, I think one of the biggest things with your theory paper is just reading the question. Solution development, as we said, based on PRAC work. And there, this one focuses more on database and they now integrated scenario again. They give you the scenario. Now they're talking about RFID. Um, they're talking about social media posts here. All this type of thing. So I, I can't really give you anything on question 9 and 10 because anything can be asked. There you've got printing. Talking about the quad core processes. Um, this one looking at computer related questions that customers might have. Um, yeah, you've got questions that seem to go back to database as well. So you'll have to look at these old papers. The, the best way to, to prepare is really to go through these old papers. Um, but what you will see is that there are topics that come through every single time. And so what I've done on the Gizmo AI also is just to make sure that you have everything set up according to the particular sections like you have here and uh, hopefully that will get you sorted out but for your theory guys you've got to learn everything <laughs> you've got to know everything and you've got to have a good understanding around it um, but most of what you need to know is on the the gizmo ai flashcards that i've got um i don't pick up anything else here there's alternative text utility programs Internet security, malware again, good practices to follow in. Um, you're trying to protect your device, your device against malware, antivirus software, URL shorteners, things like that. So the same sort of things come up, but again, it's about taking what you've learned and being able to apply it to the scenario. Please do not forget that. So these are just two papers for um, you as IAB learners. This is what you can expect when it comes to your June theory paper. And I'm going to advise again one last time, go check out the past papers, match it up with the Gizmo AI flashcards, and you will have basically everything you need. I've also got all the theory modules um, in my uh, YouTube playlist. So go and check that out as well. And that should get you prepped. I do actually have a video from last year that I did with the previous year's papers. So you can go and check that out as well. And then you'll have everything you need to get the marks that you want.